If you've been following along here on the channel, I'm working on adding a JL Audio C7 tweeter and 3.5 inch mid-range that is part of a front three-way component set to the dash of this Jeep Wrangler. In the last video, I designed and 3D printed these pods, and now we need to do the finishing work to get these complete and installed. We need to do some body work, some upholstery, and some paint work. How's it going guys? I'm Mark. Welcome to Car Audio Fabrication, the show where together we learn how to master car audio and how to design, build, and install our dream car audio system. Let's get into finishing these custom speaker pods. Now before we get into the finishing process on the pods, I do want to take a quick moment to thank monthly channel sponsor Audio Control. Once we get the speakers completely installed, we're going to need a way to tune our system and for this I'm going to use the Audio Control DM-RTA. Once we connect to this with a computer or mobile device, there are five different categories that we can use this as. A voltage meter, an RTA, an SPL meter, a polarity checker, or even an oscilloscope. You'll also notice there are lots of different connections here that way we can test both the acoustic signal and the electric signal. I could honestly talk about this forever. There are so many functions built in. If you guys want to learn more and check out the manual so you can get more insight on everything that is built into this, check out the links down in the video description. Now because the bottom of my 3D printed pod is completely flat from the build plate, I do have some areas that I need to add some body filler in order to match the contour of the vehicle. All right guys, so here's what we've got. You can see that little section there is nice and smooth. That's the main thing I was focusing on there. Just wanna fill up that gap between the pod and the dash itself. And I'm gonna come back and I'll obviously sand away this roughness here. And we're gonna need to do some fine filling on the sides. Did the same thing over on this side, on the driver's side, and then also on both sides of the vehicle, I did fill up this slight gap that exists on the front edge here. This way we're really gonna have a nice finished look between the dash and the pod. It is super hot in the shop right now, which makes that body filler kick extra fast. But nevertheless, we're gonna let it set up for about 15 to 20 minutes. We wanna catch it while it's still in its green stage so that we can quickly sand it down and remove those imperfections. But let's give it some time. I'm gonna go grab a drink. Now that that body filler has cured, I've carefully popped these off the dash. And if you look at the bottom there, you can see it's taken the nice curvature to completely match that dash shape and be perfect. To start smoothing everything out, obviously I'm sanding, but the important tip I wanna hand down to you guys here is you wanna make sure that you're block sanding. I'm using this foam block and then going one direction diagonally and then another. And by using this foam, we get a really nice flat sanding job, unlike with your fingers where you're likely to have waves. The 3D printing process does leave a lot of lines that we need to fill up with the body filler. Check this out guys, now that all the body filler work is done, we have a nice, perfect contoured match up to the dash. This is going to look far, far better than if we had any gaps, especially once we get this wrapped with the upholstery materials, which is the next step. For the upholstery on this project, I'm using this nice black vinyl that perfectly matches the grain on the dash. If you watched the video where I 3D printed these, one of these had a lot of warping issues, so I saved this to use as a practice piece because once I go to wrap these, I don't wanna mess up my finished pieces. There's so much work into them, I wanna do a practice piece first. So what I'm doing here that's a little bit different, rather than having a sheet of vinyl going over the top and trying to pull it over that really far draw, which can potentially kind of mess with the grain, instead, I'm going to be kind of wrapping it around this way. So I have to have a seam somewhere. So I'm gonna have the seam on this side here, which matches up with the A pillar. So you'll never see that seam anyhow. Let's get these wrapped. I've got the practice piece wrapped here and I wanna reiterate, this is one of my first versions of the part. That's why it doesn't perfectly match the grill. And I wrapped this pretty quick and didn't really take any time with the details just because I kinda wanted to see how this is going to look before I spent a bunch of time with it. And I have to be honest, I don't think I'm super crazy about the look of this vinyl being on this piece. 
The reason being, it just seems like a lot. It's like vinyl, 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 and since this is actually plastic with vinyl grain imprinted on it, it's kind of more like a matte vinyl versus my vinyl, which matches. I put a little bit of glossy protectant on it already, so that's why it looks a little bit more reflective, but then you have the super reflective plastic here. I, I don't know, it just seems like a lot of vinyl. So I'm kind of thinking I might like the look of making this a flat black, like the whole rest of the dash, especially since it will give us more of a transition of this being one piece, kind of vinyl to flat black to vinyl again. I think I'm gonna try painting these instead. That's why it's always nice to have a practice piece if you can, that way I didn't get a bunch of adhesive onto my finished piece and have to somehow remove it. I can just take this and I'm going to prime this and then I'm gonna shoot it with that flat black paint. After some sanding work, I've got my first coat of filler primer sprayed onto these, and I am by no means a paint and body expert, but these are coming along pretty good, looking nice and smooth. I do have some more filler that I added after this layer just to kind of fill in a couple of those sanding scratches, so I need to get those obviously sanded away and keep working through this process and then hit it with another coat of primer. These are really nice and smooth now. I stepped up from 150 to 220 to 400 grit sandpaper in preparation for what we're gonna be using for our SEM paints here. If you're doing any work like this, making something for the interior of a vehicle, I definitely recommend the SEM paints. We're gonna start with the plastic and leather prep just to make sure that everything is good and clean and we're gonna get a nice adhesion. And then we're going to use the texture coating. And the point of this is it's going to add just a really, really light, obviously, texture to the part. We can control the texture based on how far or how close we are to the part while we're spraying it. Then to get our parts to match the color of the interior of our vehicle, we'll use the color coat to finalize things. Now we're almost ready to move on to installation because I've got these coated in the color coat as well and these are looking awesome. got all the speakers reconnected, both pods fully installed, and I did some tuning with the DMRTA, and oh my gosh, guys, this thing sounds so good. So now, guys, we can take a test listen. Although we've been focusing on the speaker pods, there's also quite a few other things that I've done in this Jeep. I've added amps along with aftermarket amplifier racks. I've added two subwoofer enclosures, a fuse bracket, and wiring. So in the next video, we're gonna dive in and see more detail on how I did all of those parts of the build. Next time you're tuning a car audio system and you want it to sound perfect, you definitely gotta check out the DMRTA from show sponsor, Audio Control. You can learn more at the links down in the video description. A special thanks to them along with Bart, Mike, Ali, Francis, Jerry, Marcos, William, and the rest of the Patreon membership team. A big thanks to all those guys for making these videos possible. And of course, my friends, thank you guys for watching.